What's up, y'all? Welcome to Cooking with Todd. Yeah! Now check this out. Today I'm making a vegetarian omelet. Now I'm not a vegetarian, but today I just feel like doing a little veggie. So let me show you what I'm gonna make. So right here we have our green peppers, onions, broccoli, spinach. I have some minced garlic, sea salt, black pepper. I have some vegan cheese. I don't know why I'm doing this vegan cheese. And then I have some vegetarian fed hens. So, I'm about to get this popping. So I want y'all to see how I do it. So first off, start with two pans. Want to saute my veggies. Want to make the omelet. So I'm gonna use a little bit of olive oil. Oh, you see that? Oh, he got skills. So today's topic, we're gonna talk about plastic surgery. Now, women get it all the time. My big thing is, okay, if, we, if it's okay for women to get, should men get plastic surgery? Let's grab some olive oil real quick. So in the conversation though, is can men, do you feel like it's okay for a dude to have uh, plastic surgery? What is the feeling? Now, me, myself, I'm a skinny dude. You know, I could work out, I could do a couple of push-ups, and you know, the arms start looking a little defined. So for some people, it's hard. So what y'all think? Like, come on, like, should I be able to lipo my six pack in? You know, it ain't, it ain't coming out fast enough. You know what I mean? Like, when can it do? Like, women get larger breasts, bigger booties. Can I go throw a couple of inches on my penis? Is that what? cool? Like, bro, what are you talking about? Let me think. You know, hold on, I'm still here, I'm still here. So what are we thinking? Like, is that okay? Like, would you mess with a guy that got no penis enlargement? You know, he might put a little extra something on there for you, a couple of inches. You know, he might want to make it, I guess, a little, a little bigger or whatever. What, what's the vibe? Huh? Hold on, let me throw my onions and peppers in there. I'm still with y'all. I'm still with y'all, but I'm just trying to figure this thing out. You know, I heard they do that. They do six packs, they do calves for men, all kind of stuff. So ladies, what's up? What we vibing? Y'all y'all into that or that ain't cool? My thing is if the ladies could do what I think the guys should do. You know what I mean? And if the ladies can go get them a little, little double D's. Why can't why can't the fellas go add a little something to their showing one? You know what I mean? Y'all gonna enjoy it anyway. Yeah, but I don't know. I heard that uh, if you get, if you add a little couple of inches, it might not get hard all the way. So you have like a softy at the end. But um, what's your thoughts, man? Like, tell me, tell me what y'all vibing on that. All right, y'all. So I'm about to show you the finished product on the vegetarian omelet. It is bomb. Check it out. Banging. Made by Daddy Daycare himself, Todd Tucker. What do you people think about this? Yeah! So what I can do, I can send you guys my recipes for cooking with Todd. Um, that's an egg white omelet. Uh, it has spinach, onions, peppers, broccoli, and a little bit of cheese. I couldn't do the vegan cheese. So I'm about to uh, have my guest sit in, which is my wife. And we're gonna talk about this plastic surgery thing. What's up y'all, this is Cooking with Todd and look who my guest is, what's up babe? Now you gotta tell them about this hey. omelet. That omelet is banging. Come on. <laughs> Look at that omelet. Oh, Vegetarian okay. omelet. You know, trying to eat good while we're quarantined. You know what I mean? Come out of this looking looking good. What you think? Let's go. Okay, but so today, um, I'm talking about plastic surgery. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. No. Have you had any plastic surgery? You know I have. Well, I ain't want to be telling your business. You know, I ain't want to be telling nobody's business. I've had lipo. I had a boob job. What is lipo, actually? Just so people know. Um, and they basically suck your fat out. <laughs> right? But, um, so, yeah. So, when they suck your fat out, mm -hmm. when it grows back, does it grow evenly? Or is, do you find, like, pockets of fat that grow back well? I personally feel like, um... 
the baby's crying now. I feel like yeah, it just comes back. Mm-hmm. It, 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 it definitely can come back. I mean, I know for a fact, the first time um, I ever had lipo, which I really was just trying to get them to flatten out the little pooch that was like around my navel area. So, because I was like still get a pooch skinny. From? After I had Riley, I always had like a little pooch that wasn't tight. We spoke about that. I was saying like women... If they're into it, that they should definitely get the mommy makeovers or whatever, just so they can feel good, you know, mm-hmm. feel good in their skin, you know, they want to mm-hmm. get back, get back fresh. So you, you had a little lipo around the belly. Yeah. And so did you find he out? He curried my side. Um, well, you know where your love handles is? Uh-huh. He curved that a little bit. Like, I was kind of already, like, in shape Okay. when I did it. So was this around? If you're out at the club, don't think I'm not. No. Hold up. Wait a minute. No, After back that? then I was rock solid tight. That was before Riley. Oh, she was rock solid. Go tight. look at the videos, boo. I worked out all the time. Abs was on deck. Whatever. Tighter than yours, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, 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 no, oh, oh, oh. Go back and look. Go back and look. My abs was tight back then. At right. that point, but okay. no, I'm talking about. I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, going into. Before I started season three of Housewives. Mm-hmm. So, first season, I had never had lipo or anything. Mm-hmm. But going into season three, um, I had a little lipo before that. Gotcha. So, and I still really like, like looked the same. It's just for my own personal. It just makes you feel a little. <laughs> yeah, it was just like, he just tightened the little waistline area. You know how like when you kid it's like you work out as much as you can but right. it's still like that little bit in the little love handle section that you just can't get rid of. Gotcha. It was like one of those type of things. And um he took he also um took some fat from like in my lower back area. So he like curved my back a little bit more. Mm. So basically So when you hit it from the back it'd be looking like Got a little swoop, swoop, little swoop. Like, I'll explain. Like, oh, okay, hell, what? Oh, okay, like so in here, in there. So you was going straight up and down. First of all, I was never straight up and down. I never was okay, straight up okay, and down. You wasn't, to be clear. All right, you wasn't straight up but and down, but he gave you a little. He gave you a little bit more. A little, low little curve. Like a little. What's that called? A little ramp piece. It does give you a more of a mm-hmm. of a pow look. And then, like some people be thinking, oh, she must have did something. But no, I never did anything to my butt. But when you uh, curve your back just a little bit more, it just gives you a more pronounced like, ooh, okay. But did you transfer <laughs> anything? Like, did you suck something no. down and put anything anywhere? No. Well, no, I, I tried my boobs uh, back then. I had absolutely, well, I had boobs, but they just was like sad. Would they sag you? They were sagging. They were still sagging even after, but um, I put a little fat in my boobs. But that's mm-hmm. it. I never transferred anywhere else. Right. For so, those of you who've been trying to figure it out and make assumptions. So that was after um, season two, like I said. Okay. So going into season three. So I think I had, I still had the short hair, but it was like the burgundy red color at that mm-hmm. time. Okay. Anyway. Um, so when did the breast job come about? That wasn't until later. That wasn't until a couple of years ago after I had AIDS. Okay. Yeah. You know. But, um. I like the brush job. Let me see. Let me see what you're working with. I'm not going to show the world. No, it ain't showing them, but you see it's a little like. It's too big. No, I don't like it. I like it's that little big. bounce. Little bounce. Ain't nothing wrong with a little bounce. Anyway, at that time, I think I was like 130 pounds. Mm-hmm. And, um, I thought. Okay, I'm in shape. I'm tight. I just I was already kind of like kind of in shape before, but then uh, maybe I was like 135, and then mm-hmm. I went to like 130. So I was really feeling myself, and I started eating a lot, and I was just like, eating, see, eating. is that a problem? Like, do people think, oh, the light goes off? I'm really this size I normally. Think some people, I think, and they think do. they can go grub. Right, and because I I got like super super busy around that time, I wasn't working out as much. Wow. So I started gaining weight and so anyway my point is i feel like whereas at that point i had a little boobs mm-hmm. they became 
huge. Gotcha. Um, even though oh, like I already the, had. Oh, like the auntie know. boobs. Y'all know the auntie boobs? Shut up. <laughs> then it went from, mm-hmm. you know, because it went like 10, I would say like a good 10, 15 pounds within a year to two, two years after having a lipo. So it went all of a sudden huge boobs. Huge thighs, huge ass. Mm. Everything was looking like extra okay. big. So has- and I think it was because um, when you do take fat out of like your waist area, mm. um, the fat come, you can get bigger there, but not like you used to gain there. It goes else other places. Then I started noticing this little double chin. Mm, double chin. Like fat started coming in here. You know what I'm saying? Auntie Chen. Y'all know Auntie Chen. Shut up. Let me let me let me me ask you a question. Yeah, so I say if you ever gonna try lipo, don't get comfortable. You need to work out even harder than you did before so that you can maintain the whatever, the the lipo. (laughs) Gotcha. So do you see any uh, plastic surgery in your future? Like do you plan to do anything else? Um I wanna get a breast reduction. Reduce the breasts. Yeah, reduce the breasts. I personally feel like... You get rid of the Ds? What you going to go to? They double Ds, and I need to get down to like a C at best. I would go for a B, really. A little, little, little See, yeah, what okay. I think it okay. is, is like, I'm only five, two and a half. Oh, short and thick. And I'm already, I've always had, you know, thicker legs and butt area. Tell me about so, it. So, to me, if you have, you know ass and thighs you mm. do not need no big old titties if you short no you do because that's no, no, package. No, that's no, no, no. it makes you look fatter than what you are so what i'm saying is is because like your shirt mm-hmm. going out both ways this you know what i'm saying yeah, everything but, but when going. it's tight let me show you when it's but tight then everything you, oh, wait, wait. then you feel like wait, wait. everything we are to the to. side put your arm to the side stop i'm too side. So okay. you got the bam no, no. with the bam. But you start feeling like everything you wear mm-hmm. needs to be tight. super tight or else you feel like you look fat. You know what I'm saying? And you. so it was like a point before I started dating you. I felt like everything I had on was a stretch dress. I had a stretch dress for everything. Yeah, you used to have stretch dresses in your trunk when I met you. <laughs> So I wouldn't have to go home and just throw my stretch dress on. But anyway, a stretch dress. you just have the dress. You feel like you have to wear tight clothes so, all the time so, you wanna, so that you don't look fat. So you because I reduce, don't have a long torso. But tell me, so you want to reduce the breasts. How is that going to work if you reduce the breasts with your frame? Like, usually smaller breasts on a smaller frame. No, it's going to be right? perfect. You know, you have a smaller up top and then you got your hips and your legs. So a little baby breasts. They still going to be perky though? That's what I want. That's whoever mm. whoever I get to do them. That's what they better do. Is mm. there a double standard in plastic surgery? Like, can men like so say, you know, I want to define the six pack a little more. I want to go get light bulb. Just get I know all that of out some of guys there. who have done that. There is a double standard. Is it double standard? Yes. So I can't go. No, you can. Would you feel okay? You with can. It, though? I mean, personally, the guys that I know who have done it typically. Oh, so you are, know some guys. I do know a huh. couple. Uh, typically, they are in the Let me keep it 100. I will business. never go get plastic surgery unless it was something that I needed because of an accident. I, know, I just want to let people know because I don't want them thinking that I would have. That's not my thing. Okay. We as got. I was saying, the guys that I know who have done it. Well, no. I'll take that back. I did know one guy who did it who was not in an entertainment business. But I've done it. And none of it was because of health issues? It was just straight just for... I know people have done Look. it for different things. I know some men who had fatty breast tissue and they didn't like looking like they had boobs, so they had those removed. Mm, pause. Yeah. No, but I'm saying, you yeah. know how you see some guys who they just never can get this area tight and they have that meaty right. area okay. and they get that removed a lot. There's a lot of guys that do that. Guys are and then, um, mm-hmm. huh? No, I was just saying that's a little, yeah. I mean, but it happens. But I'm saying, so but you're then good. I know some guys who did try to get their abs tightened up. I do. So you're okay with it. So you would be fine. You with somebody? They look one way one day. They go under the knife, disappear I mean, a couple of weeks. I would, if you was just a what regular dude that just wasn't in the entertainment business, I wouldn't see. I would be like, well, what you doing that for? But I mean, I was, the guy I know guys in the entertainment business who have tried that because they're trying to keep a look so they can sell yeah. records or yeah. continue whatever they're doing. Yeah. Okay, I guess. So if I come home and I'm like, babe, I want to add a couple of inches to it, you know, 
Um, inches to what? What you going to add inches to? If I want to go throw the, I don't throw want my dog, no more if I want to throw my dog on the table, be like, man, get me over here. Like, first of all, I don't want you on. to add no more inches. I'm good with the inches that you got. I don't need no extra inches. I don't need you to be trying to like stab me and no. I'm good. So what do you know about it? Have you ever bumped into a, a dog that had extra inches put on? No. Never? Not okay. that I know of. Okay. No, no. I just didn't know because you know, some women know. They say, supposedly I heard that it might be hard up to a point and then it'd be like, you, you know. You know somebody who's seen one? No, nah, I don't know. You know, I just heard the shit on, online and shit like that, but. Oh, you was doing your research? <laughs> well, if I'm going to talk about it, uh, how are we going to have this conversation? Let's be know. <laughs> you go get in the... Please don't go get that done. Yeah, no. I mean, you, we have to... I would... That's a little tricky. I wouldn't take that chance because, you know, the hardness of that depends on the blood flowing. Right. If they connect some extra stuff to it, I don't know if that flows. Right. Your blood sense. flow only flow to about 8, 9. Yeah, you try to be know. a 12, so that's a little... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, a little soft know. dog. A little hard yeah, soft combination. that would be a good idea. You're not into that. I guess we're both okay with plastic surgery. I don't know how you guys feel about it. Um, Candy's had a little bit. She claims uh, she's going to get one more procedure done. Breast reduction. She's going to... Make those tit old bitties a little smaller. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. You know, I work with what I got. That's the baby. That means you got to go. So anyway, thank y'all for joining me on Cooking with Ty. Hey, if you're going to get plastic surgery, just don't get addicted and, you know, one and done. All right. Uh, today's dish was my egg white omelet with veggies and a little bit of cheese. Uh, you saw some sliced avocado and... Uh, little strawberry on the side. Hey, yeah, I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all tune in for my next special. See what I cook up next. Yeah, cooking with Todd.